So over the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about the potential for a sharp counter trend bounce in, in stocks that have been extremely oversold um, over the past, or have been undergoing extreme selling over the past few months, I should say. And so they, re they reached extreme oversold reading. So I just want to go through a, a couple of these uh, stocks that have now rallied very strongly since 20, 30 plus percent, um, and then make the case for why we think it's time to fade this rally, this, this bear market uh, rally again. And, 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 and in, in that same sort of you know, thought, I think it's important to keep in mind that, again, something we've been talking about for, for weeks and weeks, actually several months now in these, in these videos, it's just the importance of understanding that bear markets can be very volatile. Um, you can have sharp sell-offs, yes, but you can have very sharp counter-trend bounces. And I think we just saw one of those over the past um, week, week and a half or so. So here's a, a couple of, 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 of charts to kind of give you some perspective. So one of the stock that we highlighted in these videos over the past couple of weeks is PayPal, and we talked about the the extreme nature of oversold reading, and we said it could easily rally, you know, 30%. Well, guess what? The stock's now rallied 30%. Now that's the blip on the chart, but it's rallied 30%, and so that's quite common for a counter trend bounce uh, on a stock like this. Now, personally, I think longer term this is still a nice asset to have, but from a trading perspective, we want to you know, maybe take profits if this is something one participated in uh, on, on, on the short term. Even, you know, something uh, something like Zoom, which which we highlighted, uh, I believe, last week at this point. Um, you know, we talked about the potential there for that thing to rally. Well, it's now rallied, again, almost 30%. Now, again, extremely oversold, but we do think, uh, you know, this is something that, that, that is probably a little bit overdone. Um, and there's a lot of names one can go through. Um, uh, you know, even something like Square, which, which we talked about here too, a stock that's now off the most recent lows, the higher lows, up 50%. Uh, ultimately, I actually think, again, a great company. But from a trading perspective, particularly with the broader bear market in place, we think um, something that we probably want to consider taking some profits uh, for the time being. Now, instead of shorting a stock, any of these individual stocks, which I, I think is more difficult, um, I will just bring back out the, the chart of, of the NASDAQ 100, which, which I think is, is the, and I'm not going to use the word easy, but the, the most straightforward short here. Um, uh, if, if you take it all into context, I showed this on a video uh, in this video series on Monday, and I talked about how we're coming into a lot of confluence resistance. The NASDAQ 100, by the way, the QQQ now up 12 and a half ish percent off the lows. That's a pretty meaningful rally as well. Now, can it go another couple percent? Of course, but in the broader scheme of things, uh, here too, we're looking at something that's coming into a lot of overhead resistance. So to keep it more simple, uh, we would we would think it's it's going to be um, a, a more straightforward bet to 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 fade this rally as opposed to with an individual stock. Uh, using an ETF like the QQQ. Now, it certainly one can use individual stocks as well. It's just as, as an additional layer of volatility to it than just the indices. Hope it helps. See you again soon.